Breaking news out of Washington where President Biden has tested positive for COVID-19. The president is fully vaccinated and has recovered, received rather two booster shots. The White House says he is experiencing only mild symptoms. He is tired, has a runny nose and a dry cough. Now, President Biden went to bed last night feeling fine, but didn't sleep very well. And then he tested positive this morning. Biden, who is 79 years old, is being treated with the antiviral Paxlovid. Now, reporters caught up with him and rather caught up with First Lady Joe Biden, who was in Detroit today. My husband tested positive for COVID. I talked to him just a few minutes ago. He's doing fine. He's feeling good. Uh, I tested negative this morning. I am going to keep my schedule. I am, according to CDC guidelines, I am keeping masks. And so um, I'd like to go in and see the program here. Learning loss as an educator means a lot to me. So thank you for, um, for being here today. Now, the White House says they will provide a daily update on the president's status, but they say he will continue to carry out the fullest duties of the office while in isolation. Now, the White House is also informing close contacts, including members of Congress and the press. His second booster shot was on March 30th, and the president's last negative test was on Tuesday. The White House says their level of concern is very low. Now, we learned the president is taking Paxlovid. and marie is here with us now to talk about that treatment, and, and you have some more insight into that. Yeah, well, just real quickly, I want to point out that you pointed out that he has mild symptoms, and that booster shot that he just got in March would be providing effectiveness for him to have a more mild case. And according to the FDA, he's also having this treatment that's called Paxlovid. This is an investigational medicine that's used to treat mild to moderate COVID in adults and also children who are 12 and older. Now, this is a treatment that's indicated for people who are considered at high risk for progression to developing a severe case that could include hospitalization or death. Of course, the, the president's age here is a factor in this risk for him. The treatment does consist of two different medicines. There are two tablets that are taken two times a day for five days. Now, the first tablet that is taken aims to stop the virus from replicating and then the second pill really works to keep that first pill from breaking down so it can remain in the body at a higher concentration for a longer time. So how does it work? Well according to a recent Yale medicine study the drug developed by Pfizer had an 89% reduction rate of the risk of hospitalization and death in a clinical trial. It is also considered an improvement over some of the other treatments that were developed during the pandemic like remdesivir. That is also administered by NIV, so that can also be a complicating factor. But this is an emergency use drug that the president is taking his first today, so he'll be taking this now for the next four days. Back to you, Karen. All right, thank you, Ann. And we have more on President Biden's COVID diagnosis and this breaking story right now on WTHR.com and on our streaming app. We will, of course, keep you updated on his status throughout the day.